my anatomy anatomic and molecular pathology that's ana path or my morbid anatomy was sound because of pathoma pathoma grounded me in it and i really understood a lot of concepts <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidera Rahaka. I'm a medical student at uni. Like, I make medical related content. It is extremely entertaining, very educated, and very helpful. If you mess with that type of content, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and just keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the videos that helped me during my pathology and pharmacology year of medical school. So, you know, we have different years. We have the anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. And that one, um, sometimes in some schools is one year, like you know, like in some other schools, it's two years, 211 and 311. And then you go to your pathology and pharmacology courses. So, during my pathology and pharmacology courses, what really helped me were my videos. Videos helped me a lot. And I'm going to be giving you guys some of the videos, the, my top five videos that helped me. The first one is osmosis. Osmosis is just osmosis. I don't know, it's like they have a video for almost every pathology that there is. They always have some form of some their videos are so engaging their videos are colorful very easy to remember you literally remember some parts of the videos when you're trying to recall what you read so this helped me study so many courses morbid anatomy or what people call the anatomic and molecular pathology and osmosis is not even just for pattern and found there is osmosis physiology osmosis for clinical osmosis is a lifesaver it saved my life literally different explanations to different pathologies i got them from osmosis and then it's not it doesn't give too much detail but not too little detail so you have an idea of it so that when you go back to your slides and you are reading what you've been taught there is this link it just gives you that link so you at least understand the broad picture before you can now go into your in-depth side and read what exactly it is your lecturer wants you to know some of them are on the internet or youtube but a lot of them are being paid for some of these videos you get from people so people get these videos and are able to pass them across to other people those videos are not so long six minutes seven minutes you get information on what you need they don't go too in depth but i mean they give do a really good job at explaining the concepts to you the voices are very engaging and a lot of research was put into bringing out those videos because they are really really nice pathoma is another set of videos i use and pathoma i really like pathoma because pathoma went into the detail for me so i read tech, i used to read textbooks and read my slides in school and i did not understand but pathoma was like another teacher to me so basically they explain what is in their pathoma textbook but it really did the work for me i mean my anatomy anatomic and molecular pathology that's ana path or my morbid anatomy was sound because of pathoma pathoma grounded me in it and i really understood a lot of concepts i was able to grasp a lot of things because it is a lot and i could not really read every single thing but a lot of information i felt was vital to me i could get them from these videos and then they went to explain what i really needed for the course and i got a distinction in that course in fact that was the course that i got a distinction in once i started using those videos my grades just changed automatically my problem with anatomy was that i couldn't quite remember there were so many things so i just couldn't understand like i couldn't understand everything so something that just had to crack but the videos made it so easy for me because they explained every single pathology as many as they were they were each explained to me and i saw i understood so even the ones that were not explained reading them was like okay i would spend more time reading those ones so i would read i would watch the videos then read and then i would be able to at least understand and find that link between everything and then medicine just became times too fun at the time sketchy videos are also very good sketchy is to give really fun pictorial analogies or whatever pathology you are being presented i used a lot for microbiology i used it for pharmacology and some other um, pathology courses but like it was really really nice like i remember learning about um um high density lipids and low density lipids and sketchy used a spaceship to analyze the transport of lipids in the body and it was really really nice for some very funny reasons to see i still remember the spaceship and some of the things that were illustrated there because they sketch diagrams like cartoons and all of that and it's just like watching a cartoon literally it's just like watching an animation of whatever you're studying and so it made medicine a, a little bit more fun their videos were a bit slow and draggy i'm not gonna lie sometimes i'm just like can you just get to the point but it was really nice it was a really nice way of understanding something you really had a problem 
with a particular concept and you use sketchy for it you would understand it better at least because the way they'll break it down for you it was it was just really nice so for sketchy videos you want to start watching them very early while you're studying you don't want to start watching them when it's very close to the exam because it can be very time consuming you may be able to get access to some of these resources because you have seniors who have used the resources so you can go around asking questions asking people do you have osmosis videos do you have pathoma videos do you have um sketchy videos the next two video sources i'm going to talk about are video channels and they're present on youtube so you can have access to them from youtube the first one is medicosis pharmacosis and this was really nice for me for hematology it's explained hematology concepts even though hematology wasn't so hard because there were not a lot of topics and so you could easily grasp what you wanted to grasp and go over but then if you don't understand hematology it will help you explain it really well the cml your hematology pathologies and all of that um they have other videos too on other pathologies but hematology for me then speed pharmacology is exceptional for pharmacology if you are going to have a problem with pharmacology and you're going to need help speed pharmacology is a very excellent resource so you want to watch maybe a video on antihypertensive drugs they will start from explaining to you a brief summary of what, of what causes the hypertension and how the drugs help so you can understand the concept behind each drug it's just a really good source for you to learn pharmacology so my top five osmosis pathoma sketchy medical and speed pharmacology this helped me i didn't really use any resource for chemical pathology what we call it clinical pathology in uni lab i just use my notes and i just it's only god i use for that course but the remaining sources were very good for my other pathology courses and i feel like you'll find them very helpful so once you enter the year just go and look for all these video sources and keep just know where they are because <laughs> You want to, a situation where as you're learning each topic, you're watching each video, so you're understanding. You will not learn everything from your lecturer. You will even get lost in the lecture hall or in your class or whatever. But once you can get these videos, they will help you understand these concepts very, very, very well. Videos are a cheat code in med school, so why don't you use them? Sometimes you don't ask your seniors questions, you don't ask for them because you don't even know what to ask for. But when you're giving an aid, okay, this is what you should ask for. You can ask for this particular textbook. You may actually find someone who would have heard of it, who would have helped you out, who may have, who may have even paid for the resources and have them. And it's willing to actually give you access to them so i hope you just like this video because i'm done if you have any other video source or video channel that you feel like going to really help any medical students in pathology and pharmacology is then you can please put that in the comment section for me hope you enjoyed this video if you learned a thing or two please don't forget to like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get updates each time i post guys till next time Bye!